All right. So the fast breaks in in this new two K is clearly uh, broken. You know, it's it's clear that they've made some sort of concerted effort in screwing up your ability to pull off a fast break. All right. Uh, they tinkered with the transition aspect of it, where you're coming down court and you're, you know, you're running, you're in the flow, and you're passing the ball and things of that nature. Uh, it's clear that they they they've tinkered with it a bit too much, and they've made it more difficult for you to pull it off, right? So now let me explain what's going on here. So I'm coming down to the fast break, and I want to pass the ball to my guy right here, and I give him the ball. We're going to transition. The momentum is forward. I give him the ball, and he stops for no reason, right? What reason? What what possible reason uh, would you be giving a ball uh, a man the ball on a fast break, and he just stops running for nothing, right? And then he continues to go forward uh, into a jump shot motion because what I'm doing, I'm still trying to uh, continue the momentum. So, uh, you know, you pass the ball to your guy and you switch to him automatically, right? Which is why he's going into this jump shot animation. And he was really supposed to just continue to fall into the basket. Even if, let's say, you want to say uh, uh, you pulled up too early, there's still an animation that, that, even with a jump shot that that leans forward, that goes forward, right when you're when you're pulling up a jump shot. So even that wouldn't make sense because he just stopped. He stopped, then he took a bounce uh, step, and he went into a shoot animation. Completely blown, blow the opportunity I had to get an easy bucket right here. All right, and the algorithm understands this is this is not um, just a a malfunction in the game. Once again, as I always put it, there's a deliberate process that they are going through to put these kind of things into the game and to make it seem as if it's natural, right? Like, oh, this is just playing out that way. No, it's not just playing out that way. This is, this is very purposeful, right? They understand exactly what they've done, right? Because you can, if you if you play 2K21 consistently, you play in 22, you can feel the difference. Like it's 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 a bit stark, the difference in how the fast break plays out, right? It's just, it's really it's really just not the same. Look at this shit, man. And, and once again, you had these issues in 2K21. It's just far more prevalent. Uh, in, in, in 22, you feel on a fast break. You feel more stuck to the floor. You feel more restricted, or at least I do, right? I don't. I don't feel the same freedom, you know, coming down and you know uh, weaving throughout the defense on a fast break to get a bucket. It's like they're they put boundaries on your ability to to pull off the fast break. This is this is a scoring opportunity that was just blown right here. He stopped. Let's play at a regular speed. For no reason, he just stops. This is the type of shit right here that you would never see the computer do uh, on, the, on the opposing team. You would never see them make mistakes like this. That's how you know it's not a mistake. It's purposeful, right? They've deliberately done this type of shit right here because they're trying to restrict your ability to just get off, right? They don't want you, once again, they don't want you just blowing computer out relentlessly. But they cannot for whatever reason, figure out how to get computer to play better. So they have to cheat. Uh, they have to give computer the ability to pretty much just make 50 fucking jump shots in a row in 2K22. And they have to uh, make their, their defense just on some unrealistic uh, alien type of, you know, like what the hell is going on? Everybody has, has gotten primed. Uh, like one of the comments said, everybody has prime MJ defense on this game, right? But that's just about it, man. Peace.